Hey everyone, this is Michael Kristoff from KristoffCreative.com, also a Twitter username Kristoff Creative. I've been seeing some questions cop, uh, excuse me, pop up about DCTH, and I was just asked one a couple minutes ago. So I thought I'd go ahead and, and throw together a video tutorial about DCTH to give everyone some more information about it so you can learn about it, and if you already know about it, perhaps even get some more information to make the most of it. So first off, the question generally is, what is DCTH or how can I join it? Now DCTH is the acronym for Design Community Twitter Hours. This is a place that if you like design, want to talk about design, learn about design related issues, or meet other designers, this is the place to be. The cool thing though is that it's not just design related. You can learn a lot of information on a variety of topics from SEO, WordPress, marketing, business processes, applications people use, you name it, it can pretty much be covered here. Now the other thing you need to know is that this is Design Community Twitter Hours. Obviously it, this is built and handled through Twitter. So if you don't have a Twitter account, go there now, twitter.com, and register for account. Real simple, and you can go ahead and join in the discussion. Now, DCTH does have official hours, and they are Thursday, 6 to 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. This is the official gathering time. Doesn't mean this is the only time it happens, but it is the official time. Now, this time slot of 6 to 8.30 is broken into two sections. The first is 6 to 7 p.m. This is an open chat where you can talk about whatever you want, talk to other people, ask questions if you want. And then from 7 to 8.30 p.m. is the official Q&A. Now, this is really cool because this is the time where moderators of DCTH ask questions to community at large and then people can answer them. The reason this is so great is that if you have a specific question, you want to know more about anything, ask the question to a moderator and the moderator can add it into the questions and again they throw it out to the community and you can learn a lot of great stuff. Now during this time period they try and fit in uh, about 10 questions uh, but again this is going to obviously be dependent on what's going on and how busy it gets. But generally 7, 8, 9, 10 questions is pretty cool. Because Chad is the mastermind, the inspiration and creator of DCTH. Smart guy, go ahead and follow him. He tweets a lot of really cool stuff, so he's well worth following. Also, there is a dedicated Twitter user account for DCTH. Obviously, you're seeing it at DCTH. Go ahead and follow that, too, because number one is you will learn cool stuff about DCTH and be kept abreast of what's going on. And also, the more followers they get, the more people they have coming on board in the community, and the better off it is for everybody. DCTH also has a dedicated website, dcth.info. Now, as of this recording, it was down for some maintenance because I know they're adding to it and they're trying to make it grow. But one of the things you'll see about it is that Chad goes in there and he'll feature a DCTH follower. Uh, I think he's trying to do it like every week so you can learn a little bit more information about specific people that is more than you would normally learn, learn uh, from just looking at their Twitter profile. Now, where does this all happen? It happens at TweetChat.com. Now, you don't have to go there specifically. You can follow DCTH using directly the Twitter client or maybe a desktop app you might be using. But I personally find TweetChat.com the best place to use it because it filters out everything else but DCTH tweets. And let me show you that now. If you go to TweetChat.com, you'll see this screen. You will want to enter your Twitter username and your Twitter password. This will get you logged into TweetChat.com. Can't remember my password. Let me see here. Hey, it worked. Fantastic. Anyway, once you're logged in, you will see this. Basically, it's blank. You will see your Twitter background because TweetChat pulls that in from the API. And the room to enter is, you guessed it, DCTH. No hashtag, just the straight letters. Enter room, and you are logged in. Now, anytime somebody tweets a message that includes the hashtag, which you see right here, DCTH, 
it will show up within the stream on TweetChat.com. Really nice, because if you happen to be a person who's following thousands of people and you're using Twitter.com, you're going to get everybody's tweets. Go to TweetChat.com tweetchat.com and you're only going to see tweets and messages from people who are talking specifically about stuff that's happening on, on uh, TweetChat through DCTH. Actually, that's the other way around. <laughs> talking about DCTH through t- tweetchat.com. Uh, anyway, if you are here, you can enter a message like I did right here and it will automatically enter or add the hashtag pound DCTH to your tweet. So you don't need to enter that here. Just go ahead and add your message. TweetChat.com will add the hashtag and automatically show up in the stream. Now, if you're using Twitter or a desktop app, perhaps, you will need to manually add that, and you can do that anytime you like. But through TweetChat, again, don't need to enter it. So if you want to be part of the discussion, join the community, learn some cool stuff, uh, make sure you get a Twitter account and you're following at DCTH, follow at Chad Engel, and Thursdays from 6 to 8.30 p.m., go ahead and log into tweetchat.com and join the discussion. So, hey, uh, I hope this has helped. I hope you learned a little bit of information about this and so you can get some more uh, use out of DCTH. And I will see you next Thursday from 6 to 8.30 p.m.